What's up guys, it's Tesla Jill and we've got a fun one today. We're looking at the Short Shorts Historian account on Twitter. And if you don't know what Tesla Q is, they're basically a community on Twitter who basically just bash anything Tesla and they all mostly have short positions and they just want Tesla to fall. And so this account looks at particular moments in Tesla Q's history where they said something quite bold and it's not turned out very well for them. So let's take a look. Dean says, Looking ahead, all I care about is time. BK is a bonus, but not necessary. A huge capital raise doesn't matter. Tesla will lose hand over fist for the next two years. All institutions will be out of this shit soon enough. <laughs> well, Tesla went up 2000% in two years, Dean. Uh, I actually see this guy active on Twitter quite often, but I think I've blocked him at this point because he just continues to be neglective of the facts. All right, let's see this one. Uh, short shorts 90 three years ago says what better way to celebrate the arrival of my charts mug than watching the fire festival doc on netflix the similarities to tesla are just stunning can't wait for the tesla q movie thanks evacuation boy yeah um i think uh next year tesla's gonna do about 25 billion in annual profits pretty similar to the fire festival all right let's see um, John Tesla Tuck says Tesla business plan lie raise capital destroy capital lie raise capital destroy capital lie raise capital destroy capital uh, this was two years ago and I mean Tesla the way they deploy their capital is more efficient than any company or government I've ever seen in my entire life so we can just go past that Rusky Bear said, why would shorts capitulate now? U.S. demand has fallen off a cliff with inventory piling up. Europe and China demand to be satisfied with a few boats. No new models this year. Pumps no longer working. We're in the end game now. I'm increasing my position, not reducing it. This guy will probably have zero money left at this point in his life. I mean, if he raises a short position, then... Um, that, like we're looking at graves right now that's what we're reading uh brad munchen from two years ago says you're afraid to short tesla here at this gift of a price we were burnt but the story hasn't changed in fact it's become worse this bubble will burst in great glory with gf3 down for q1 it's game over and it'll push g3 and y production hell into q2 rest in peace motorhead Drive for Show says, you know nothing about Tesla Q, so stop pretending. You have no idea the inordinate amount of research we have done. No clue. One overriding objective is to be extra critical of our assumptions and tear down every place where we could be wrong. Bulls have done zero critical thinking. I mean, let's, okay, let's think of one bull who's right, Kathy Wood, okay? I don't know if drive for show has ever read arcs research reports but they're the most in-depth reports i've come across on wall street and there's yeah let's move to the next one mark spiegel five years ago this guy is a classic short he's always on here yes this could mark peak tesla right here that's the only comment i'll make right now after all revenge is best served cold lol here's dean again he says at this point it's pretty clear that tesla will ultimately file bankruptcy even if they get $5 billion in fresh capital, they don't have a way to make a profit. They'll eventually lose that money too and have to file. If the Teslamings want to trade a stock at $300 a share, I can wait. Well, I hope you're still waiting, Dean, because uh, that hurts. That hurts, man. I hope you got your Tesla short shorts. Tesla Q is the greatest crowdsourcing experiment in the history of finance. That one's my favorite. It's actually kind of funny. Tesla Q was right. We've been called every name in the book. We've been doxxed, ridiculed, and doubted. But in my time here, I've learned that when Tesla Q says something about Musk's empire, believe them. Here's a collection of examples in which Tesla Q was right. How can you even say that someone was right or wrong in this scenario? I mean, that's like four years of Tesla trading flat within the same range. It's kind of still the liminal space where nobody's right, so whatever. Bertel Schmidt says, folks, Elon Musk stepped in it in China. Can't build that factory in 11 months and for 500 million. The girl story is kaput. Can't solve this with motivational slogans about future mobility and a better world. 
Convince Elon to get real or that better world will come to a quick end. Poor Bertle. China ended up being the most profitable factory in probably the history of automotive. I love this. Ron Barron was an early investor in Tesla. It's as simple as this. You'd never ever forgive yourself if you covered your short positions now and they declared bankruptcy next week. Imagine the pain and the guilt. Stay strong. There's the leader the Tesla Q needed, leading them towards bankruptcy. Kawasuk says, the short, the short thesis is very much still alive. It's like a good Sunday gravy. You just have to let it simmer. That gravy boiled right out of the pot, my friend. Tesla 19 results are awful. There is no hope that Tesla Q will be profitable after they add the expenses of two more gigafactories built into a declining market in China and practically zero market in Germany. Don't ever see a return on investment in an overhyped and overbuilt company. It costs Tesla about a billion dollars to make a factory. And let's give Shanghai, for example, producing 500,000 cars. With their current profit margins, they're making about 10 grand a car. And if you times that by 500,000, that's about $5 billion annually. So I think these factories are pretty profitable. Subak says, I imagine the Tesla Q cash tag might exist for many decades beyond Tesla's bankruptcy. It will be a gathering place for many interesting philosophical discussions, as well as gourmet hot pockets for Azubitas. <laughs> Ross, I sincerely hope you feel comfortable being long Tesla at this level. I'll let price dictate the rest of this story. I'm not covering. Have a nice evening. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're definitely not covering. You're not going to be able to afford it. When will Tesla file for bankruptcy? This is interesting, about 12% of these poll takers were correct. Never. They're going to have more cash than they know what to do with, and that's gonna be their only problem relating to their cash reserves. Okay, let's do one more. The odds that Tesla will be bankrupt within five years is approaching 100%. You know, and it, it was, and uh, I think yesterday, Elon Musk told Charlie Munger that he also thought it was gonna go bankrupt, and you know, that's been in Elon's book before, and and uh, we've been hearing that for a long time, and they were very close to it. And I happened to invest in Q3 of 2019, right when they were about to go bankrupt. I didn't know that. If I had known that, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but thank God I'm a simple-minded fellow. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you got your Tesla short shorts in the store when they're uh, available. And uh, rest in peace to all the short sellers. Uh, Tesla was the most short stock on the market at one point, and those numbers have been coming down, but Shorts are still out there, boys, so stay strong, hold, don't sell, and I think there's another squeeze incoming. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Please like this video to support my ascent, and I'll see you guys later.